Hi and welcome. I'm Michael and Trevor Tolo from Western Computer. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a purchase order in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. To start, click on the search icon in the top right corner of Business Central and type in purchase orders. Select purchase orders from the list of results. This is going to take you to the purchase orders list page where you can view all existing orders. You'll notice that you can filter by status like pending confirmation or upcoming orders. You can also use Copilot to analyze this list and ask questions like, show me all purchase orders with an open status. Copilot will take a very short time. It'll analyze the data and only display purchase orders matching our request. So you can now see that we can see all purchase orders that have a status of open. But as fun as Copilot is, we'll explore more Copilot features in another video. So for now, let's get back to creating a new order. To create a new order in the top ribbon here, you want to select new. This opens a blank purchase order card. And then the first thing you want to do is you want to select your vendor. Um, you can start typing their name or number and or pick from the drop down menu like I'm going to. So in this example, let's go with intercompany vendor. You can now see that once it's been selected, Business Central has automatically filled in key details like payment terms, shipping method, and any other defaults that we have set up for this vendor. Next, let's go over here to the line section. This is where we're going to add our items or services that we're ordering. Select the drop down menu. This is where we want to choose what we're buying. So whether it's an item or resource or any other type your company uses. For this demo, we're going to keep it simple and we're going to use item. Next, we want to select the item number. I'm going to go with item number, let's do 109, a server. You'll see that some of the related fields like description and unit cost have automatically been populated. Next, we want to select the quantity. We're going to use two. We know we need to select the quantity because we see this red asterisk. It says this value for this field is required. Let's see if there's anything else that is required here. No, nope. tax group code. we got to select tax group code. For this one, we're going to go with supplies. Now, depending on your setup, you may or you may not see every column here. Many organizations streamline this section to really match their needs. But since we have everything visible, let's just take a moment to make sure that all looks good. I'm not seeing any other red asterisks. Okay, so if you are now ordering more than one item, just repeat the process that we just used to order the server. Since we're only ordering the server, uh, we're good to move on. Okay, so everything looks correct. Now we can either post the order directly or we can release it for approval depending on how our organization is set up. And if we want to post the order, we come up here to the red top ribbon and we select we can select post, preview posting, post and print, whatever it may be. Um, we can also select release. This is going to lock the order and get it ready to send to your vendor so you can't make any changes. And if we want to send the purchase order, we can go up here to print send and we can choose either send or print uh, depending on how we want to deliver it. If we want to keep an order on file, um, we can select attach as PDF. This now puts a attachment in the PDF or puts the PDF in our attachment section on the right side of Business Central. This is where we can select this and now save it as a PDF if we need it. And really, that's it. You, we've just created a purchase order in Business Central. Uh, this process is geared to help streamline your purchasing, reduce errors, and improve really vendor communication. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials on Business Central. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.